If you want to do more push-ups, more pull-ups or more of whatever you train right now, then definitely check out these three tips. The goal is to increase quantity and that's very important without losing any quality. There are many methods how you can do that, but these are my personal ones and they are the ones which work for me. And before you start, you should obviously know how many maximum reps of your move you can do. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for further tutorials. So let's get started. Five, four, three, two, one, two. Oh, this you crazy mother! Tip number one, add variations. Adding variations is a very important point. The problem is, if you train the same move over and over again, you also train and target always the same muscle groups. The thing is, it does not necessarily mean that you will at the end of the day do more repetitions. When doing the same exercise, your body and your muscle fibers adapt to this intensity. That means that your muscles always need a higher and higher impulse to grow. Do you remember when you included one new exercise into your workout? And do you remember the pain you had the next day? And at the same time, you can do some exercises 1000 times the whole day and you will not feel any soreness the next day. And it's important to understand that our body and our muscles work as one entity. Training different surrounding muscle groups will inevitably support the muscle groups you actively need for your move. For example, if you want to increase your push-up reps, you always only target a certain part of your arms or your chest. But when you add push-up variations, you engage other muscle groups residing, for example, in the outer, inner or lower chest. That will definitely not only increase your reps, but your overall strength in general. And if you need some inspiration, check out my video 100 push-up variations. I tell you guys, that was a hell of a work. Not only push-ups, I also made a video for sit-ups or back exercises, so definitely check that out as well. Tip number two, increase training frequency and or intensity. Obviously, inconsistent training hinders your progress. If you think you can watch this video and you're suddenly able to do more because there's some secret technique, I'm really sorry, but that's not the case. Let's be realistic. If you want to improve your repetitions, no matter what move, you need time, effort and patience. Let's talk about the frequency first. It definitely makes a difference if you train, for example, push-ups once a week or three to four times a week. The key is not to train too less, but also not too much. And you should definitely listen to your body and reduce the risk for injuries. So it's self-explanatory that you need to train the move on a regular basis to see any success. Regarding the intensity, you also have to find a balance between undertraining and overtraining. To increase reps, I use following routine. Let's say I want to increase the reps of my handstand push-ups. I do always sets of three. In my first try, I always want to reach the maximum. But importantly, I do not push until I completely fatigue, but I stop a bit prior. With this, you do not completely exhaust in the beginning and you will still have some energy left. In the second try, I usually try to reach around 70 to 75% of the first one. And in the last try, I usually go down to 20 to 25% once again. And I repeat the whole procedure for around 5 times. And as I said, don't forget to add variations. But of course it doesn't have to be handstand push-ups. Let's take for example pull-ups. If your max is 15 pull-ups, then in the first try you do 13 to maybe 14. In the second one you do around 11. And in the last one maybe 8. Repeat this whole procedure a couple of times and you will see it will get really heavy. But it will definitely help you a lot. Tip number three, explosive and negative. A very important point in my opinion and a bit connected to tip number one. No matter what you train, you have to push or pull up fast and then do the negatives. But why? When you do the moves explosive, you do them much faster. The faster you do them, the less energy you use for holding the position. When doing pull-ups, for example, you lose a lot of energy by simply just hanging on the bars. 
With that, at the end of the day, you will have more energy left. But many people tend to do the moves really dirty when they do them fast. Quality always stands above quantity. Don't forget that and keep an eye on your form. But why should you train negatives? As I already explained in another video, which you can find in the link above or in the description, especially eccentric movements, that means muscle lengthening movements, are responsible for delayed onset muscle soreness. And this in turn is really important to build up muscle and strength. Training explosive and negative motions are definitely helpful on the long term. And lastly, just a quick bonus tip. If you're doing calisthenics and you don't have access to a gym, I highly recommend that you train with weight vests, especially if you're already at a pretty high level or if you just do not come forward at all. I mean, of course, it does not make sense if you can do like five push-ups, then you will put a 20 kilogram weight vest on and you will not be able to do even one. But weight vests will help you reach hypotrophy faster and engage the muscle groups fully. If you liked it, please leave a like and comment and subscribe for further videos. Good luck with the training, stay healthy and see you next time.